guys, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And on this episode of Library Macabre, I have an unpackaging of the May Nightworms package. So the theme of this package is classic horror. And this is in collaboration with Paul Tremblay, the horror author. I don't really know what to expect exactly. I do know one of the books that's included and I'm super excited about it. It was one that I was going to order anyway, so I'm glad I didn't have to do that since it's in here. Uh, but I don't know what else is included yet. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna be some classic horror since that's the, uh, the title of the package, but we'll, we'll see. Since this is the first thing I see, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. This is Graveyard Slaughter. This is a comic book, and I've seen some people share about it on Instagram, and I've heard um, the hosts over on, I believe it was the Shockwaves podcast, uh, they talked about it a little bit. I think it was them. Uh, but yeah, this looks super cool and this is like a throwback to 80s horror you know with the whole video store theme and this just looks insanely awesome so i am excited to read this it's super short because it's a comic book so it's something i can sit down and read in an hour or so oh yeah this looks really really cool and actually paul trimbley has a little letter there at the beginning of the comic so, very nice, can't wait to read this. All right, and I see two books, and of course, a goodie bag. So I'm gonna get into the goodie bag first. And we'll see what's in here. All right, and as always, it is loaded with stuff. So the first thing I see is a Be Kind, Rewind, or Die sticker. And this is for the uh, Graveyard Slaughter comic. And here we go. I love when they include beverages, it's, it's like my favorite thing. Uh, this is a Paul Trimbley tea, which is amazing. Uh, so the the uh, flavor is not actually Paul Trimbley flavored. I don't know what that would taste like exactly. And I don't think I want to know, no offense, Paul, but uh, this is a blackberry vanilla. Hi, I thought maybe we would uh, take a tea break. So the tea is done. I added just a little bit extra than the packet said. The packet said to add about two teaspoons. I added a little bit more just because I like my tea a little bit stronger. Um, so very excited to taste this. It's still a bit hot, so I might let it cool for just a second and I will be right back. And while that's cooling, yes, I am wearing a different t-shirt. That's because I am filming on a different day uh, than what you just saw. I just decided to add this in at the last minute because I thought it would make the video just a little bit more fun. So there's a little bit of movie magic for you. All right, so this is still a little bit hot. Um, so I'm gonna try to be careful and not damage myself. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste and let you know what I think. Very, very good, very fruity. And I can taste a hint of vanilla in there. Um, I didn't add any sugar or milk to my tea. I usually don't, uh, but this is very, very good. and pretty strong on its own, but not too strong. It's got a, a nice kind of subtle fruity taste to it. Really good. I think this would be super refreshing on a summer day if you drink it iced. So I think I'm gonna ice this and uh, finish it up. But yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Very, very tasty. So that is the Paul Trimbley flavored tea from Lumos Libertas uh, that has artwork by Shelby W. Robertson. Definitely go check them out and give them a follow on Instagram. All right, back to your regular viewing. 
And while looking on the back of the insert, I saw that this package is dedicated to Kevin Watkins. Uh, he is the co-creator of the Graveyard Slaughter comic. It says, we know he was proud of this comic and excited to see Nightworms reading it. We miss you. So that's very sad to hear about. Very nice that this package is dedicated to him. And we have another little insert right here. On one side, we have some classic horror movie recommendations from Paul. And then on the back, we have some more. All right, and we have another little advertisement here. This is for Playing Possum by Stephanie Rabig. Uh, this is one that I have been really wanting to read. Uh, because the cover looks just like one of those old uh, zebra covers from the 80s or 90s. Uh, it just looks like a lot of fun. I love creature uh, animal attack horror, so I will definitely check this one out eventually. We also have a classic horror Nightworms bookmark. And this design is pretty awesome, I have to say. Yeah, this design is by the Inksmith. He does a lot of really good work. And then we also have another bookmark of Graveyard Slaughter. And then last but not least, we have an art print that also goes along with Graveyard Slaughter. This is a full color piece of art from the comic book. And now we're gonna get into the books, which I am loving because I have been wanting this book so bad. And I was actually thinking of ordering this soon because I don't have anywhere near enough Valancourt press books in my collection. And this is one that I've heard so many good things about and I've never read it. This is The Auctioneer by Joan Sampson with an introduction by Grady Hendrix. Uh, this was uh, talked about quite a lot in Paperbacks from Hell and it's a book that gets a lot of good reviews and a lot of people recommend it to me. I am so grateful to Valancourt Books. They do such a great job and I love that they are getting the rights to these older uh, titles and putting them out so that way people like me who want to read them don't have to spend a butt ton of money online. So this is awesome. I cannot wait to read this. All right, and next up we have another Valancourt title. This is awesome, man. We have Figures Unseen by Steve Resnick Tim, another author that I hear great things about and have never read any of his work. So this is a short story collection and it features a ton of stories. There are so many included. There's the table of contents right there. So you can kind of see it's a long list of stories and it also goes onto the back page a little bit. So I love a good short story collection and I'm really looking forward to reading this. I also love the cover, very simplistic. All right, so that is yet another Nightworms package for the books. Thank you so much to Ashley and Sadie for sending this along for me to unpackage. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to the Nightworms and you would like to, you can do that right now. And don't forget that you can use the code MOVIE5 to get an additional 5% off your already discounted subscription. The June package is called The Boys of Summer. So we're going to have some nice uh, summery horror books to look forward to. So don't miss out on that. It is on sale right now, but it won't be for much longer. So if you want it, you better get on it now before it sells out. I don't think it's going to be around a whole lot longer. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Thank you again to the Nightworms for sending me this package, and I will see you in the next video. Later, creeps.